So here we are, one week after a DMEC corneal transplant. The transplant procedure went perfectly, but what have we here? A cloudy cornea on the left side from about 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Closer inspection shows what looks to be an incomplete attachment of the donor tissue in the area of the corneal edema, which is confirmed on this OCT of their cornea. How do we fix this problem? Injection of more air into the anterior chamber. We perform this maneuver at the slit lamp after the patient's eye has been anesthetized with propericaine and sterilized with a betadine prep. Using a 30 gauge needle on a 1 cc syringe, we carefully enter the anterior chamber, anterior to the iris and posterior to the area of donor detachment. We then inject air into the anterior chamber. The air fill will push the donor tissue that is detached into contact with the patient's cornea. We then measure the patient's intraocular pressure, which is noted to be high at about 65 millimeters of mercury. So we re-enter the eye through the original entry point and aspirate some of the air that was injected earlier to reduce the size of the bubble of air and reduce the patient's intraocular pressure. The lower meniscus of the air bubble is now above the peripheral air at 6 o'clock that was created at the time of the DMEC procedure. The intraocular pressure is now approximately 30 millimeters of mercury, which is acceptable for this patient. Slit lamp exam the following day shows a 60% air fill bubble remaining and most importantly, complete attachment of the previously detached donor corneal endothelial layer and significant reduction in cloudiness of the cornea indicating resolution of their corneal edema. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope this video was helpful and have a wonderful day.